I think the palette garden represents um, a really good example of what I'm going to call vertical thinking. So thinking outside the square um, and basically instead of growing along the ground, if in some places we have um, limited space, so it's much better to go vertical. So, uh, and I think in this site is very flat uh, and this actually will stand out a lot, this garden. Um, and people will notice it from far away and these plants will fill that space and it'll look less like a pallet and more like a wall of plants. Okay, so what you'll see here is Jordan's actually sliding cardboard through on the, the facing side of the, uh, the pallet. And this is to secure the, the soil in so that the soil stays tight and compacted and um, protects the, the plants as much as possible when the plants are in. He's now going to just grab the staple guard and staple it into place, which also helps to assist the soil remaining compact. Um, putting weed matting down on the back of the pallet now, cutting it to size and stapling it on um, to hold the soil in. Hopefully it will be strong enough. So we just decided to stand this one up, peg it into the ground with the cardboard already attached and what this young man's doing right now by the name of Jay is trying to get soil. He's filling it with soil. Uh, so we've got the compost here that um, was created out of the hot compost that we did a couple of months ago. Um, and so we sifted it on the bed and so this will provide our soil mix with phosphorus and nitrogen, um, which will help the plants. So the compost is alive. It's, um, it's, a, it's a living organism. And you'll see if you look closely, there's critters through there. So it should be alive with, um, with bugs. Cocoa peat here, which is for retention. So it will um, retain the water within the soil mix and we've got sand here so the sand will do the same it more helps with drainage the sand mix and then the soil mix here is good old dirt which provides the minerals for the things that we need so this is our mix of soil that we use can you remember what it was Jay? Uh, five compost four sand one soil and one cocoa peat. Yeah. yeah, this is our mix. It's gonna go in there and nourish our plants to grow. At the same time, we hope not to lose any of the soil. <laughs> the best way to do it, what we realized through doing this one first laying down was that in standing it up vertically and filling it with soil, first the soil mix from the bottom to the top, that was gonna be the best, um, best practice of planting it. And the reason why is that it wasn't going to disturb the soil, it was going to allow the soil to just sink and stabilise in there and then with the cardboard backed up against the front of the pallet, we could then just cut a hole with the blade through the cardboard and go straight in and plant straight into the soil via that way. And yeah, that wasn't going to disturb the soil as much as it did with this one where we planted it laying down and then had to pick it up and shake it about a bit. So. Um, so I can just show you a planting method with the vertical stand-up pallet garden. So we've got lemon balm and strawberries in here already and um, I'm just going to put another strawberry in. So we're limited with space when it comes to actually planting in, in these holes here. There's a bit of fiddling around in regard to pulling back some of the, the soil life around the, um, the seedling, the roots. And then Bob's Yorani Strawberry, look at that! 
And then when it comes to uh, choosing another spot, we just grab a blade. Just cut across in there. Let's dig a bit of a hole. We're ready to put something else in there. And just to allow for, for roots, um, you might want to offset them wherever you choose to plant them so that the, the roots can spread out and there's a bit of space for them to grow. To care for the pallet garden, we want to water them in um, kind of daily until they're established. And then maybe and once a month, uh, give like them some the liquid fertilizer yeah, like exactly. um, worm juice or sea salt and just make sure they're hydrated enough um, from day to day. And um, we're just going to, with this oregano, try and, as it grows, train it down this side just so that it's covering the black plastic on that side to make it more aesthetic. And um, same with these guys, they might need to be trained a little bit, but other than that, it's all good. They're loving us right now.